Hello everybody, welcome to game number two of Pro Tips Chaos Dwarves, and again, another tough matchup. Well, obviously the first one's a mirror against a pretty good coach. This one, the, the Kemri matchup, is a horrible matchup for Chaos Dwarves, because they just simply they just simply can't do a lot, you know? They've got no strength. They're all strength three. Uh, this Kemri is going with pretty much what I would have gone with, except he's gone with three cheerleaders and two assistant coaches, where I tend to start with 12 players. But he has only got one thrower, so if I can get him down, that's good. I might be able to get him down with the bull, you never know. I might go for a speculative bull blitz on him, just pop it. But it's so hard, because with these four strength five players, you've got no strength of your own. You're all strength three, apart from, you know, you do have the strength four bulls. But the bulls want to be going for the ball, if possible. So this is one of those games where the bulls probably want to be expensive black orcs this game. Um, but still, and then a journeyman. I could get a babe or something for this game, but I really want to save up for the the second, the third reroll. In fact, so just yeah, I need to win the toss. And s well, the, see, you probably put tomb guardians on the line. But if he puts tomb guardians on the line, then at least I could maybe bang them down. Maybe get a tomb guardian removal, which would be crucial. If you put skeletons on the line, then maybe I can knock the skeletons down and get a removal that way. But it's it's really tough. It's a really tough matchup is uh, Kemri against Chaos Dwarves. But I'll be happy with the draw. Every game in this series, because I'm playing it like a real team, I'll be happy with the draw. Because I'm always happy with the draw, realistically. If you, you know, you definitely, no, you definitely can't win them all in Blood Bowl. And, um, you know, on Fumble... Even the best players on Fumble only have like a 70% win rate. You gotta be happy with draws. Um, it's just the, the kind of, the nature of the champion's ladder makes people push. Well, people who want to qualify makes them push for wins and end up losing games as a result. See, so I, I saved myself with a three star player point guy being there and now it, he's not there anymore. And also had the two star player point guy there and he's not there anymore. Um, They've moved my Mighty Blow guy to the line. So, yeah, I, I, I never have... They never, ever save properly the setups that I have. I don't know why. I'd like I'd like the saving setups to actually work in Legendary Edition. That would be amazing. I'd really be happy with that. But um, I guess I want to keep them spread out so that at least it isolates his Tomb Guardians. But then I guess, on the other hand, if they're not isolated, that's also good. Hmm. If I, keep, no, if I isolate them, I can maybe two dice them. But then if I keep them all together, then I can run around with the bulls. Maybe keep them together. And then if they're all together, then I can pick off the uh, pick off the skeletons. Maybe that'd be better. Try it this time, see what happens. For God's sake. <sighs> yeah, he's the seventh stale player point guy now. <laughs> Right, I need to I need to get on the old Discord and make a request here. How many of the blockers should get Claw Mighty Blow piling on? Every single one. <laughs> <laughs> every, every single player, every single kid. Sam Davies sent me that question on Steam. He said, "How many should I build into chaos into claw pommers too? No, all of them. All of them want to be it. It's just you know the fact you're going to need doubles means that they're just not going to be able to. Um, but so that means you have to. You want as many as you can. You know, like I guess four is the um." Oh god, a bribe against Kemri. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's sad. I guess at least I've got thick skull and I'm a nine. And I can if he loses a Tomb Guardian it's much worse for him. Wow, he hasn't got a, he's just got a Tomb Guardian randomly standing around. Interesting. Um So Only a two instead of a three, That's good. Maybe I should always keep him in the middle. Because if I put them apart, you'd have probably got two, three dices. Was at least now he's denied himself that luxury. Um, can't remember what I was talking about there. Threw, threw myself off. Maybe I can glean what I was talking about from chat. <laughs> 
<laughs> All of them with piling on. All of them. All of the Mighty Blow Guard piling on. Why not? What else is it going to take? What else are you going to take apart from Mighty Blow and piling on? What? What else? No, I would definitely give all six players Mighty Blow piling on. Definitely. But the thing is, you're probably going to have, well, you probably want to have three for the LOS. So more realistically, you're going to have three. Um, pom three or four. Four Pommers is, is the realistic maximum. But, um, yeah, Mighty Blow piling on guard. Those three. Yeah. Whatever tickles your fancy. And I'll tell you what tickles my fancy. Piling on. Because then they can get piling on Mighty Blow. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? And it's too good. It's too good. It's literally too good. Piling on Mighty Blow core is just too good. Regardless of what the stats say. Um, Mighty Blow piling on is too good. Oh, wow. He's down to one reroll instantly. Excellent. Yeah, I'll ignore chat now. <laughs> and he just gives up a 2D block on a, on a guy. Into a foul as well. Right. Get to blitz this guy. Okay. So let's foul with the with the loner as well. I like it. Uh, I guess now I'm committed to blitzing him with the other guy. Okay, good. I got the knockdown. Mighty blow blitz. Don't mind if I do. Shit. Shit. I have to follow now to, to negate his assist on the foul. And I have to foul, don't I? I just have to. Alright, I'm gonna go a bit crazy. Oh no. <laughs> God. All right then, GFI to foul him. This is good. This has gone about as bad as it could have gone. Get the foul and not if he pray. Oh God. Get banged on. Blitz Raz. I don't want to one D them. Can't can't <laughs> even one D him. Don't want to make a minus two D because now he's down on one reroll. He can just fail with all his blocks, can't he? So I'll just let him, I'll let him hit me with Tomb Guardians and hopefully they'll one in nine. That's, that's pretty much the play now. Now that he's down to one reroll, I don't mind just basing him and hope he fails at some point. Just rely on armor nine, he hasn't got mighty blow, so get the, get the, at least one bull around to threaten the ball. And just, uh, just let, just be content of letting him make six blocks every turn let your opponent make six two dice blocks every turn doesn't seem like a winning strategy does it really fucking doesn't obviously hopefully not and really not with a block as well really don't want to make block blocks because they haven't got much chance of turning over for him Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna get one armor break every well no, I guess he's only gonna knock down three. If you if you give it six blocks a turn, he's only gonna knock down about three. And then he's gonna get one armor break every other turn, which isn't too scary, is it? And there's a decent chance of him one in nining one of them, even if he'd only make six blocks. This is the bad one though, the poor old mighty blow guy getting punched. Oh, blitzing so he can get hit a hob as well. After the failed foul attempt. Yeah, I should have moved the um 
I should I shouldn't have moved that guy there. I should have just blocked him out, and then I wouldn't have been in this tackle zone to be far to be um, blocked. So this is this was my misplay, definitely. I was just thinking that if I got the knockdown there, I'd have more assists by pushing it there. That's what I was thinking. The good thing is he can't follow up. Well, maybe he will. To occupy a bull. Mm, okay. But occupying a bull just means you get two deed, so it's not that good, is it? He could blitz him. He could blitz him. He could block. That's no, he can't blitz. He's, he'd have to be the. He'd have to block, and then the bull blitzes him. Ugh. This is rough. Read on to stand up this hobgoblin as well, just to get banged on. I guess he could just 1D him, couldn't he? That's maybe better. And then he could block him. And then no foul. Yeah, alright. That makes it a 2D, which is alright, isn't it? No rerolls. Okay, you just get to hit a bull now, which kind of sucks. Just leave him down there. The good thing is that obviously on offense, it's hard for him to make fouls on offense. So that's something. He has got to worry about protecting the ball somewhat. I, mean, I, I definitely don't let him score here. And like, you know, like with the uh, against the dwarf, the dwarves last game, I was happy to force them to score early. I wasn't really happy about it, but I didn't mind forcing them to score early. Whereas um, now, I really don't want Kenry to score against me at all, really, because it's so slow, and so so agility two ish. Oh man, gets to make a big foul. Right, I can have a bit of chat. Guess as long as I can keep my my. <laughs> no, Grindel. Um, once Pro Tips Chaos Dwarves hits twenty games, it'll be Pro Tips um, Kemry for twenty games. Or maybe just carry on. Depends what the record is. Might just carry on with Chaos Dwarves. Um, up to 42. Um, Hobgoblins will, will will happen though. I've got to make the Hobgoblin team. Probably is not in Open or Strippings League. Probably, it'll, I'll have to do it in Champions Ladder just so that it's, it's um, just so that it's you know it's it's an achievement to win with them rather than <laughs> yeah Jimmy the addict. <laughs> yeah. It's hard for him now a little bit, isn't it? It's hard for him to protect the ball a little bit. Because this ball, even if he bases this ball, he's just getting banged on because I've got the assists. If he doesn't, he's coming back and he, it should, I should be able to not get him based. Yeah, so, okay, so that's where my blitz is coming in. I'll just blitz him away and... Uh, and come back unless I get stunned. Unless I get stunned by this. That would really suck, actually, if this is an armor break. Right, good. We can block him on two. Free up him. We can go in there, and then he can block him. I could even just dodge. Nah. Would have to be two dodges to hit the ball. That's crazy. Right. Definitely make this one a 2D. Put 
put him on one. Seems good. He can block and follow up, then that's a 1D, which is alright, isn't it? Right, but this, this is where the Blitz has to go now. Brilliant that. Journeyman Hobgoblin basing two players. Don't really want to risk the GFI with him. I don't think. Could have made that a 1D, couldn't I? But um, if this is a pal... And this is a 1D, which is nice. Got him. Could I foul anybody? I could go there and make that a 1D, but I think I'm, I'm okay with that being where it is. So, um. Just put, move back to here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. For minus 2D him, I'm 25% to put him down. If I push him... I, I guess I'm okay with him punching me. It's alright. Pro tips, Vamps in Underworld. That'll be a, that's a long, long time away. Long time away. Yeah, Dauntless would be a lot more viable from the Chaos Dwarf blockers, and they're, they're, they're actually it's Dauntless is what it, on Chaos Dwarf block is one of the few players where I take, but one of the few places I would actually pick Dauntless as a skill to be honest, because they do like it. All right. The the bad thing is that this guy might be too far away, mightn't he? No, he's not. You can reach the sideline, but still. I think one or two GFIs would have been really good for this ball. But with him not being last action, I just didn't want to risk. Didn't want to risk the GFIs with him. Amazing Lona Hobgoblin action there. Holy shit. Yeah, I guess so. VIP, a Dante Kalis, that's true. It's... it's yeah, it's hard to do a how-to on that, yeah. I think that's fair to say. Ooh, could I do a chain here? Into a chain? Into a... Ooh. Right. <laughs> What's happening here? He, he could go around... Oh, it's two GFIs. Then he could block him to block him out. And then he could block him. And then he's free. What if I just block him? Oh man, two GFIs. And he blocks him. Pushes him to there, he blocks him. And then it's 2D on the ball. I mean, that is... That is... Really good, isn't it? To the point where I'm really thinking of doing that. Could block him down and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I don't know. What about if he does it? Nah, he can't do it. Plus he'd have to assist probably. This is just a one at the moment. He could go there and then could 2D him and then get one of these in there. But I think it'd be better to put the ball in there anyway. He could block him. I'd really like to pop the ball. I mean, it's early. I don't need to pop the ball out. All right, the time's a factor. I'll do the first GFI to here. And then I can change my plan if I reuse the reroll there. All right, so now I'm committed to making the second one and using a reroll on it. Of course. All right, now the bull. The bull's got to get in now. Just because it's kind of a good spot for the bull, even if this is a push. 
Got the pal. I can push him onto there, but I don't have the guys to cancel the assists, so just got to hope for a pow here. All right, get banged on. Wow, get absolutely banged on. Who would have believed that a blitz on the ball could actually work? Holy shit. <laughs> okay, and GFI is here to make this a 2D. Oh shit, now I've got to make it a 1D so I can make the 2D on the ball. I don't want to get him smashed by a Tomb Guardian though. If he GFIs over here and one he 1Ds, then he can 1D on the ball with him there. I just need a 2 plus though to get that. I guess, yeah, that one needs a 2 plus, so it's better to go just make the extra GFI to here. Fucking skull. Had to be, didn't it? Had to be the skull. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah, mark that time. Yeah, it's a good, good point. 207.45. Oh, I don't know because it's on the fucking. I don't know how long the first one was, so I just got no idea. Oh, the turn. Turn four. Thank you, VIB Adonta Kalis. There you go. Oh, man, I hate that. I hate that when people just make those fucking things. Maybe I should have just GFI'd there, and then I could have 2 would there. And then at least I'd have a player on the ball, like marking the ball. But it just it was just a two plus. And then this would have been a seventy five percent knockdown. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done it though, because now he just gets the easy block and he's he's out. Maybe I did it the wrong way. I'm not sure if I did that the wrong way around. Maybe I did it the wrong way around. Maybe I should have GFI'd there. Then 2D there, and then 1D on the ball. Instead of this guy getting three diced away, and now he's he's in uh, he's in with actual. That's an easy touchdown now, isn't it? Fuck! For God's sake! I just <laughs> it was a sweet chain push, but I've just given him I've just given him the touchdown by making it. Crazy, eh? Crazy, absolutely fucking crazy. Yeah, I guess I guess that's what I should have done. Made that a two dice, so. and then I would have had somebody on the ball. No, oh, that was that was a bad that was a bad move by him. Blocked off his ball carrier by making that block. Should have moved the ball first. Oh, he's can blitz anyway. Oh man. Oh man, blitzes anyway. I guess now he can't outrun this chaos dwarf though. <laughs> For what it's worth, the four plus dodge to fucking do something. Oh man! <sighs> Thought I was rewarded when I got the knockdown. I really thought, you know, with getting a knockdown, I thought, oh good, finally, finally, good players rewarded. Nah. Nah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this would be the best way to get 2D if I could um, knock him down reliably. Which, well, I guess I'll just move him there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'd have to make a dodge to hit him. Right, so everyone just has to stand up. Got to make two dodges. Are you shitting me? I've got to make two dodges with my both sentinel. Might be better just to make the one dodge and, the, and then the blitz. Can't clear him. You can block him down, but it's, it's just a four plus. One, two, three, four. Two, another two plus. I mean, it's two four pluses. 
to get him. Or a 4 plus, 2 plus to one dice him. And then he could run out afterwards and try to base the people. So I guess that's kind of... Uh, then a <laughs> this is fucking shit. Absolute load of shit. Can't re-roll it as well. I actually can't re-roll it because I just can't score back on him. I lost the game, lost the game by fucking doing a sweet chain push to 2D the ball. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. Unbelievable. But yeah, it was my fault. It was my fault. Thinking about it, I gave him that out by if I sculled. Whereas if I'd done the GFIs, then there was less chance of doing that. He'd have still been base. So yeah, I didn't play as safe as I should have done. How to lose games? Well, not lose games, draw games. I mean, I'm still I'm not going to lose, am I? But well, maybe not lose. Pretty annoying. Pretty annoying, to be honest. And it, I guess I guess it was my misplay. Ultimately, ultimately, I should have made it. I should have done it better. Not better, but safer. I wanted a 75% to knock the ball out rather than with a 16% to give up a touchdown, which was stupid. I should have gone for the 1 in 36 to give up the touchdown with then only a 50% chance to, to pop it. That's what I should have done. Yeah, yeah so it was, my, it was my bad play. My bad play in the end, so I don't. Feel, I can't feel so bad, but it's um, <laughs> it's pretty annoying. <laughs> pretty annoying. I did such a good, such a good move to get the ball, and such a bad one to lose it. Well, and, and only sixteen percent as well. No hesitation using a secondary roll. I guess the ball's relatively, relatively safe. Maybe I should have made this block first. Because if I'd done that, maybe I could free people up. One dice him. Minus two dice him. Come through this way. That might be a play. It's not even one dice, it's two dice him now. Two dice him. Minus two dice him. And then make a bull sent orbit to threaten him. Ah, I'm still not going to score in two turns, am I realistically? Maybe should have followed, I don't know. Right, so now he he minus two D's him. Minus two D's him. Push goes to there. He blitzes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a guy over there which cross that bridge when I come to it. Right, this is the minus two D that has to be done. Yeah, it's a skull. I have to re-roll this one. Aha, I've got block, you don't. <laughs> this has got to be a pal. Good. Oh my god, KO. Could be huge if he doesn't come back. He could GFI twice to there.
treat him to some nice blocks. Alright. Half a chance then. Half a chance for him to score next turn and then and then be able to two turn without rerolls as Chaos Dwarves. <laughs> Imagine that. But yeah, I guess I guess I did misplay that. Sixteen percent instead of to just let him away was stupid. Absolutely stupid. Oh man. Stayed out once already. Alright, that's good. Them being on the LOS is, isn't so bad, seeing as I don't really have to fight over the LOS anyway. I've got to make a move, haven't I? Down, down a flank, maybe? Or, no, down here, obviously. Down here is where the move's made. With a bull. And another bull. And hobgoblins. This hobgoblin wants to score somehow. Maybe I two dice him. Put a bull in there. Right, because you know, I don't have the reroll, do I? So I don't really want to make a one in nine block when I could be making another one. But I think if this guy goes in there, which is obviously awful, he blitzes, goes down, he goes down. What does this guy even do? He didn't even do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. He bases him. He goes there, he goes there. He, one of them gets gets ready to accept the handoff. Maybe this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he could go like back here. That's no problem. So he could go there to go forward. So he can go forward this way. He could go one, two, three there, and then he could blitz. I don't know. I think it's better just blitzing with one one player. And I guess he just bases there, and he bases there. It's fucking rough, though, isn't it? Holy shit, it's rough. It's pretty rough. <laughs> Two turn without a reroll as well. Holy fucking shit. Oh, and he gets the reroll. God damn it. God damn it. Wait a minute. This is a cent or pickup now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is a cent or pickup now then. So he can just go and protect it. He wants to base him. I mean, this is giving up a surf, which isn't ideal, is it? But fuck it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six GFI. That's all right. He bases him. He goes there. Right, let's go, bull. Cunt. <laughs> 
cunt ball. Maybe I should have put him behind in case it went behind, because that's the worst place to go. And then if I was already behind, then it would have just been 1 2 instead of 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 would have been better. Oh, man. Up, you can free up the other one as well. Holy shit. Oh no. Oh no, it's all gone. It's all gone, Pete Tong. <laughs> Look at the auto move there, making it a one dice instead of a two. Holy shit. Oh, and he was next to him. Oh, that was so bad. He should have been over there, shouldn't he? I put the So I put my hobgoblin in the wrong place as well. So I've done a few misplays this game. If the hobgoblin... Uh, that was a really bad now. Yeah, if he gets a push here, he's basing him. Oh, God. And I gave up the surf. Okay, it didn't happen. But now he's in. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, this is so bad. If only he had been there. Oh, that was really bad. Really, 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 really bad. Well, at least you've only got a push. But yeah, he still moves him there. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so bad. So bad at Blood Bowl. <laughs> so what's this? A, a one dice blitz. A one dice block. <laughs> and then one, two. Oh, God, it's so bad. I'll do the one dice blitz first because that, that couldn't be. That, that wasn't my fault. <laughs> In armor break. Right. And <sighs> this was so so stupid. He should have been there and I would have been making this two dice block. Alright, I got lucky. I got lucky. But still need need this fucking pass to work. No. Is that a four plus? Four plus three plus to score. <sighs> Do centaur block, no overlordy, I'm not bad at blood ball. So good job. Good job I'm not stupid, eh? Right. Um GFI. Shit, I didn't realise there's GFI as well. Tripwire? Yeah. Tripwire, absolutely fucking standard. <laughs> absolutely. I should have done the centaur block, and then that would have eaten the one. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, at least his KO stayed out, but I can't win now. I'm not going to try to win. I'm just going to try to draw. <laughs> oh, if I only had that reroll, eh? If only I had that reroll. Now nah, maybe I should have made that GFI last turn so I'd know if I'd have to make it or not. Do the centaur block first. Why make an irrelevant one in nine chance of failure? <laughs> it's been so bad. I was such a bad, it was such a bad uh, advice, and it would have been the right thing, yeah, because it would have, it would have absolutely been the right thing in terms of what the dice, what happened with the dice. But pro tips, don't make your decision based on what might happen with dice RNG things. I shouldn't look at chat either. I'll avoid the trolls. But yeah, I don't think I can try to win this game. Not against Kemri. Um, I mean, maybe I could score on turn 12 and turn him over, but I'd be happy with the draw normally. I mean, maybe if I make loads of removals. Maybe if I just make loads of removals, it's possible. And I guess I do have the fouling. All right. Do you know what? Let's let's fucking go for it. Put the bull back so he can score fast if he picks it up, and go for a blitz foul over here. Yeah, 
go for the Blitzfowl over there. Yeah, all right. You never know. You never know. The, the mighty blow block and the other blocks might just might just make it so I've got a chance. If I, if I remove a ton of skeletons. Oh no, <laughs> just get a perfect defense instead. <laughs> oh man. Never lucky. Never lucky. <laughs> One game where I don't get fucked on is all I want. <laughs> oh god. One absolute load of shit. So protecting the ball. Fucking perfect defense. <sighs> no, I can't even make a blitz anywhere. See there, got the injury, but regens. And all of my guys are based over here, and it's just horrible. Could 1D there, and then 1D blitz to be able to make a 1D over here. <laughs> oh god, it's trash. <laughs> Let's just go for the pickup now. With no reroll. Roll a 1. Oh no, it's all gone tits up against the Camry. Fucking perfect defense. Yeah, the L L's Kemri are in a weird place in the in the they just it's L's are horrible for them. Um but Bash is pretty decent for them. <laughs> I can't believe that my 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 beautiful chain push onto the ball just made his touchdown easier, but that was my fault. I didn't misplay after that, so so I can't feel too bad about that one. Well, I can feel bad for misplaying, but it wasn't just the dice's fault. I did misplay. I did leave it. Wow. Holy shit. TF stay indeed. <laughs> I love the TF stay thing. For better Twitch TV. Oh man, don't even think about it. Look at this guy making go for it after I failed mine on the, to score. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, what dropping Kanga said. Look at this guy. Man. I mean, at least he can stand up and he can blitz. So at least I've got a blitz this turn. Make this a relevant block first. Yeah, okay. Got to follow so that if this is a ball down, you've still got the assist for the other block. Oh my god, it's just another push. Right, at least this guy's free now. Disguised Toast. He's got to stand up. Oh, 
I guess I should have based him in case it was a double down. But I like the idea of pushing him into him. And then not being based. Block without a reroll? It's in two tackles. Yeah, okay, make this block without a reroll first. And now pick up without a reroll. Got him. Right, so I guess there's definitely no chance of a. Uh, maybe. There's a lot of guys around here. But what would he do? He wouldn't be able to reach, realistically. If I went to here, what would happen? He can one dice him. If it's a pow, if it's a skull, he can block. He can block. Oh, so I can't. I can't do that in case it's a skull. He could minus two D him. I would like to score and turn him over and win two one. Because, I mean, I got the ball off in the first round. He could just dodge away. Block him, block him. So he, he's, a, he's a four plus away from two dice on the... From one dice on the ball, if I do that. I could maybe dodge this guy out. And if I do these GFIs, then I could potentially score on turn 12 and try to win. Normally, though, I would be happy with a draw. But I'm kind of... I kind of want to go for the win. <sighs> if this is Tomb Guardian, like, because even if I, if I score on turn 12 and he's got five turns to score, it's not easy for him. And he shouldn't have scored last time. All right, fuck it, go for it. Ah! That's why, that's why I shouldn't have done it. One in 36. Obviously, I planned to go for it one at a time, and once I used my sure feet reroll, I would have stopped going for it. Oh. Hello, Goliath Games. Oh, man. I mean, I was assuming that, like, X amount of GFIs would have worked there. I need to make five GFIs to score on turn 12. Which is asking a lot, even with even with your feet. Now I'm definitely just trying to draw. <laughs> there goes there goes all hope of the win with that, with that GFI fail. Push absolutely fucks him here if he gets a push, so that's good. Well, I guess he just come from a different angle. Wow. I guess he frees him up to come around this way. But it fucks him from this guy, which is good. I still got the ball around here. But he can come around this way now, can he? Oh, man. What? <laughs> but again, it's another it's another good game for people who think bull centaurs are movement nine because they're really, really, really not. You just got to play them like they're movement six, and sometimes they're not. Can't believe that I had six dice at these two little shits and didn't get any of them down, which has now led to one of them getting two dice back. Ah, but using a reroll of his and turning him over, oh, that actually works out pretty nice. Pretty nicely. All right. He can block this Tomb Guardian free, though. Which sucks. I don't want a GFI to hit him. But on the other hand, it lets, it lets him... Up. I don't know. I could block him first. He 
if he blitzes, then he could come back to get the ball. Seeing as I'm just trying to win now. Just trying to draw even. Yeah, I guess that's the safer play, isn't it? Don't make GFIs, you don't have to. Jimmy, sorry for killing your bull centaur. Can your nickname be the Blood Bowl Madman? <laughs> the Blood Bowl Madman? No, I'm not. I'm not mad. But thank you very, very much, CFSK. Um, uh -huh. I think I just go here, don't I? Run away a little bit and just try to draw. Right. Thank you, um thank you very, very much, Cephas Kane. Let me get the dashboard opened up. Everything's gone really slow. Oh one, one in nine. So now he's got no real. So now I could have gone for the win. Now I actually could have gone for the win. But at most, I'm scoring turn 14 here. So now I can't really go madman. No, I'm, I'm not a madman. I'm the opposite of a madman. But um, Kim the Bull sent us final game one, wasn't it? And it was, he had a funny team. So thank you very much, Cephas Kane, for the donation. Five English pounds. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Sir Ironclad, yeah. Um, no cat filmer. If you look if you if you exclamation point chuff, I like tackle on them both. I actually like block break tackle tackle. Because I just find that because you because they're your only mobile and only fast, somewhat fast player, um you need them to get down blodges. Blood Bowl sad man. <laughs> yeah. Um but the thing is on, on defense is when you need ta is when you need blitzers, isn't it? Like that positional blitzers is when you need them on defense, not offense. But um I don't like building them as ta as carriers. Um but I do like carrying with them to get them skilled up. This is gonna be a little bit tricky, isn't it? Um I want to blitz with him because he's got mighty blow, but uh, in fact, yeah, that seems that seems actually all right. All right, blitz with him because he's got mighty blow. Get a get a push. Have to move him in there. Have to move him there. Have to make this block because otherwise, it's an extra point of movement, isn't it? I guess go here so that you can block him away. Right, so there's a screen from him, so you can't get in that way. He could dodge out, but it would be minus. Well, no, I guess you could make it a one dice. Can't really do much about that, can I? If he. He could one dice him. Minus two dice, then he could dodge out and shut that down. If he was minus two diced and powered. But then if he isn't, then he blocks him and he frees him up, so that's not good. Just go for a one day, so then just for just for fun. I need to make GFIs to make that a little bit harder to get through if you try some bollocks that I don't understand. 
I guess I could have thought for an hour and a minute and a half there about whether that would actually do anything or not. But I think it's easy just to click and hope that it does something. Well, it depends, Jake Snake Eyes. Look, it just, it's, as with so much in Blood Bowl, it's all situational. It's especially situational with Chaos Dwarves and, and but Bull Sent or Carrying. Or I always like to develop a sure hands hobgoblin, but even once he's got sure hands, he doesn't always carry. Um, it just depends. It just depends on like your opponent. If you think your opponent can like get chaos, easy for chaos to get a two dice blitz on a hobgoblin, isn't it? A lot of the time, with being having the horns, it's kind of easy for them to get a two d on the ball a lot of the time. So in that case, maybe you carry on the bull, and um, because they could only get a one dice stuff like that. I don't know if I, I don't know if I score on turn fourteen here or not. I've still got two re rolls to force the score. I could do. Right. Make a block with block first of all. And mighty blow. Hmm. I don't. I want. I want to make the GFI. So that the bull's still here doing stuff, but I guess I don't want to do that, do I? Do I just do the one? Oh no, because I can't. If I surf him first... Oh, I've got to do one dice, haven't I? Just got to do the one dice at first, bollocks. Alright, lucky boy. <laughs> Jake Snake Eyes trying to get me to lose the game. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try a bull hand off at the goal line. In other games, you can, yeah, sure. So it's just it's all situational. It is absolutely all situational. Ah, injury. And because the red cross showed above his head, he's failed the regen. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. No, not true. He made the regen. Just yet another. Yet another thing that looks a bit wrong. Minus two. Does it matter? No, they're still both based. I'll just go for one dice on him. Oh shit! He's in range! He's in range of hitting me! Oh god. Oh I'm so bad. Oh I'm so bad. He should have made the dodge first. Oh I'm so bad. Fuck me. <sighs> I'm so fucking bad. I'm so bad. Well I just I've been robbed of the win on failing the two plus GFI Wilking just then. And then I misplayed there because that was a horrific misplay. I just I looked at it and thought he was too far away, but obviously he wasn't too far away. Fuck. <laughs> he wasn't too far away. Holy shit. That was really bad by me. Um not pro tips. But now He's back though. He's back. Look at these shitheads regenerating. If those two hadn't regen if those three hadn't regenerated, I could go for the win now. I just don't think I can turn him over and score in two turns.
<laughs> yeah, that's right, you can't film it, that's why they've done it. Someone said it's because they were obsessed by crotches, but um, yeah, that's, that's actually the reason, isn't it? <laughs> well worked out. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, I can two dice a, um, a thing here, can't I? Whatever they're called. Tomb Guardian. for a mighty push. Just what I always wanted. Do I try and score it, turn him over for the win? Two re-rolls. Maybe he's got 11 players. Aha! A removal helps. It is a bit greedy. Well, I got the removals, it's just they were fucking regenerated, didn't they? I don't think one of these was a surf. These were both surf. No, one was a surf, one was a regen, wasn't it? One was a surf, one was a regen. So if he hadn't regen those two, then there's a good chance of him having eight players. If he's got eight players, I've got a good shot of turning him over and scoring. Um, as it is... I don't think he's going to win. I don't think he's going to score in three. Well, okay, so here's here's what my thinking is, because I've got a minute and a half left. I don't think he's scoring in three. I've got two re-rolls. I don't think he's scoring in three. So what if I stall out here, it can't be better than a 1-1. One -one. If I score, it can be better than a 1-1. One -one. It can't really be worse. It would have to be like a pitch invasion, and half my team goes down for him to be able to score. I really just can't see him scoring against me in three turns with Kemri. So, for that reason, I'm in. It's very greedy going for the win here. Very greedy going for the win. But, I just don't see how he scores in three turns. He hasn't got re-rolls, he hasn't got block. He might have, he might have nine players on the pitch. I just don't see how he scores in three. Oh, he's got 11. Bastard. <laughs> Bastard. Should have made more fouls, I guess. Hop goblins are definitely the highest quality. Yeah, he is Kemri. I don't see how he scores. In three. Against me. <laughs> With two re-rolls. It's just shit that I didn't use the bribe to the full extent. And it's just shit that he made his both KO rolls and both regen rolls. Like he had to make four four pluses there. It could have easily he could have easily had eight players for this for this drive. And if he had eight players, and also, I could have just um, not won in 36. I could have scored on turn 12. I could have not GFI'd and scored on turn 13, couldn't I? Could have scored on 13 without GFIs. Maybe that's what I should have done. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the Hobgoblin. The Hobgoblin models and animations are the best. And the, the Amazons look really good, don't they? And the, the goblins look pretty good. Um, but yeah, the, <laughs> the bull getting knocked over is funny. And the bull, pun the bull kicking things and stuff is good as well. But yeah, I think this is a tough, a tough score for him here, isn't it? I'll be sad. I'll be sad if he scores in three turns. Like, what is he setting up a pass play here? Or I guess he can get a touchback. He's got a reroll. Unbelievable. Brutal kick for him, though. That's good. That's good. There's a chance. I think kickoff rolls have too big an impact. Yeah. To, I believe. I mean, just, just a re the innocuous reroll. Like, that's the least ridiculous kickoff result there. And it's massive. It's absolutely massive now. Gives him so much more reliability.
Nah, I've got one. I've got one. I don't. There's too, he's going to have too much in the middle, so it's going to be too hard to go to go either side. I just need to get one in the backfield. Base everyone else. Then it's my bull against his throw rod. <laughs> There's no way the centre was going to be weak, was there? There was no way he was going to leave the centre weak. Whereas this way, he might leave... See? Oh, okay, no. It was, it was a blitz rod. But if, if that hadn't been the blitz rod... That that uh, so yeah so he's he's done the right thing and he's made both sidelines strong, but still could just um could just one day here and blitz through and stuff. But, uh, ah, he doesn't see so he's made one sideline a bit weaker. He has made one sideline a bit weaker, so I can get one ball through. Everyone else bases up. See what happens. Yeah, the Norse, the Ulf was terrible. The Ulf was terrible because he's tiny. He's absolutely tiny. Phil Pickup. Phil Pickup. It's on like Donkey Kong. Minus, minus two here to get this bull through. And the bull can either blitz through himself or the hobgob can blitz for him. So I guess the hobgoblin blitzes for him. Because then that leaves a possible block on there as well. These guys stand up. I mean, he's, he's not—he's not making any kind of um, impact on scoring, is he here? I'd really like to get him through to base him, because he's he can base one of the bulls, can't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess one GFI now. Oh, there you go. Sure feet gone. Right, minus two D on this piece of shit. Skip that. Well, the bull comes through. I guess, I guess, like the other one, there's not going to be a, another GFI. Um, he can block him. He can block him. Free him up. So if I block him, it's good, isn't it? Ah, uh, is it though? Is it though? He might as well block him, I guess. He's got mighty blow. He's a scoring threat as much as can we have them. Injured sealator prick. <laughs> mighty blow. Might have mattered, I don't know. Maybe I should have made an extra GFI there because I had the reroll, didn't I? I guess I don't make any more dice rolls. Maybe I should have made more GFIs with him. Oh well, that's good. A crazy lemur, a crazy lemur, a crazy lemur. Well, that's good. Good that he did. Yeah. Ah, so he hasn't. He didn't do the free up moves. Interesting. I guess he's got the blitz though, hasn't he? He's not using the blitz to free up. No oh, man. Oh, he's getting the Canoran threat down the pitch. <laughs> he's getting the Canoran threat. He's going for it. Holy shit. Oh, man, if he fails the pickup here, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, come on, fail the pickup. You can do it. Nah, he's going for the blitz mark. Surely. Surely he's going for the blitz mark. Yeah. Yeah, undoubtedly, he should have gone for the blitz mark and then based the other one with this guy. I couldn't really stop that, could I? And now the crucial reroll might get him the draw. If he hadn't got that reroll, 
he just gets surfed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, I couldn't. I couldn't have surfed him and scored as well. Actually, maybe I should have been a bit ballsier with GFIs on them. Right. Right. So this guy obviously has to pass to the him and score. Now how do I how do I clear this tackle zone? Dodge Maybe I don't, maybe I just go for the fucking pick up. Because it's not easy to, to do otherwise, is it? Can't believe he got it in a tackle zone. That was pretty lucky of him. He could have easily fumbled it, especially with uh, especially with having the pass skill. He was much more likely to fumble it. Um, maybe I just go for the 4 plus pickup. And then like... Oh, I don't know, it's tough, isn't it? It's like a three plus. I'm gonna to have to make a three plus anyway, whether I knock him down or not. This would be two GFIs though, which probably with the reroll it's worth making the GFIs to then dodge and power him, isn't it? And then he just goes around, picks it up, passes, scores. Yeah, but to these two GFIs and dodge, probably worth it. Probably worth it. Time to loop pack it. Wow. Working out so far. Now maybe I could have blitzed with him and then I could have handed it off to him. And then he could have thrown it from there. That would have been really good, wouldn't it? What if I just go there and then hand it off to him and then he, <laughs> and he hands it off to him? And I think I've just got to make the pass. It's going to be like a 5 plus pass, isn't it? Fuck it. Doesn't really matter this square. Five plus four plus. Roll a one. Typical. Now yeah, well. So I think it was right, it was right to go for the win. There you go, wasn't it? I think I was definitely right to go for the win. Scoring on turn f turn fourteen as early as it was. But if only I hadn't made the GFIs to try to score on turn twelve. If I if I'd just scored on turn thirteen, I think I'd probably win that game, don't I? And obviously, if I just rolled the fucking two plus, I would have won. <laughs> <sighs> Oh yeah, the throw is definitely more about not losing the game than winning it, yeah. yeah. Right. Now um, oh, I don't get a re-roll as well, shit. Want ten K short of the of the re-roll. And um MVP on a Chaos Dwarf is good, isn't it? Out block me massively. But I mean that was my strategy if you can call it that, was just give him the block and hope he won in nines. One in nines himself out. You can't really do much else against Kemri, really. Just gotta hope. Just gotta hope they fail the rolls. That's Chaos Dwarves. And the good thing is you can at least eat the rolls, whereas other teams can't. I'm almost tempted here to buy the twelfth Hobgoblin. And then hopefully get fifty K next game. Um but I guess if I it's worth waiting to see if I get a Kaz's. But mm, I guess I just get definitely get the re roll after the next match. So there you go, win and draw, a bit of a crap style, but I'm going to stick with this team for at least 20 games. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.